we have an HP laptop that will not turn on. After I plug the power adapter in and press the power button, the laptop won't turn on. And as you can see here, the caps lock button is blinking. To diagnose this laptop, first I need to read the blinking pattern of this caps lock button. As you can see right here, it blinks. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Again, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So this caps button giving me five long, three short blinking error. So I'm gonna write that down and do my research and see what was wrong with this laptop. Five long, three short. Okay, let's go to Google and search for HP five long, three short. The first result is from hp.com website. Let's click on it. One of the HP experts says, from the following information, that means the embedded controller times out waiting for the BIOS. Let's click on this following information link. We have error on the website. Let's go back and check out the second answer, which is a link to HP support website. Also error on the page or maybe the page doesn't exist. All right, let's try the other one here. Pavilion caps lock, five long, three short. The first answer is also from one of the HP expert. For laptops, this HP thread describes the different blink and beep codes. Let's click on the link also error on the page good job hp good job all right since i can't find any solid information from hp.com website let's try to go to this ifixit.com website a five three codes or five long three short codes is a system board problem. This condition indicates the embedded controller cannot reach the BIOS within the established time limit. Disassemble the laptop, disconnect the battery, remove the RTC coin cell battery from the system board. All right, it seems like I have to open up the laptop and try to reset the BIOS uh, to fix the laptop. This is what it looks like inside the laptop. And first, I'm gonna try to remove this BIOS or RTC battery. I'm gonna leave this battery out for about five to 10 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna put this back and test the computer and see if that will fix the problem. In the meantime, I'm gonna test this battery just to make sure that the battery is still good. And the battery is still good. Three volts. It's been about 10 minutes and now I'm gonna put this battery back and see if the computer is working. No luck, still the same problem. Five long, three shorts blink. All right, so the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the RAM and test it with a good RAM or memory. The laptop still won't turn on, but this time I got a different error code here. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So we got three long, two short error code now instead of five long, three short. So I'm gonna go back to Google 
and see what kind of error that this computer have now. It seems like we have a problem with either the BIOS, the controller chip, or the memory or RAM, or the RAM slot. I already replaced the memory with the working memory. It's still not working, so I'm gonna cross that up. I think the problem right here is on the controller chip right here on this laptop but I'm gonna try to reflow the memory slot and maybe reprogramming the BIOS and see if that will fix the problem and if the problem is turned out to be the controller chip then unfortunately I have to replace this whole motherboard I just finished reflowing the memory or the RAM slot in this laptop and still the laptop won't turn on and still getting the same error blinking codes here. And the last thing to do is I'm going to reprogram the BIOS chips right here and if the laptop still won't turn on then the problem is on this chip right here, the controller chip. And at that point we have to replace the whole motherboard. This is the BIOS chip, so let's remove it and reprogram the BIOS chip. I just finished reprogramming the BIOS and before I put this motherboard back into the laptop, I'm gonna check and test um, every component on this laptop with my multimeter right here. Just to make sure that we don't get any short components or burned components. The computer still won't turn on and the problem still there. After resetting the BIOS battery, replacing the memory, reflowing the memory slot and reprogramming the BIOS chip. The computer still won't turn on. So now we know that the problem is on this chip right here. The controller chip. This one right here. So I texted the customer and to let her know to get her laptop fixed the logic board on this laptop need to be replaced. The cost for the logic board or the motherboard is $132.45. And my service is $80. And the total cost to get this laptop fixed is $212.45. The customer said, all right, thanks. If I was to buy a logic board and get it fixed, how much will the cost be then? I charge $80 flat for the service. So I told her, if you buy your own logic board, the cost to replace the logic board is $80. And the customer said, I will look for a logic board. I gave her the model number of her laptop and also the model of the motherboard or the logic board. And the customer sent me a screenshot of a logic board or the motherboard that she found and after looking it up that website right there mypinnacleservice.com the seller is located in china even though it costs only 79.99 i believe the one that i found is 132 dollar and 45 cents the one that the customer found is 79 dollar and 99 cents so let's do the math here one two through 45 minus 79.99. So the motherboard or the logic board that the customer found is $52.46 cheaper than the one that I found. And it usually takes about two to three weeks for 
something to get shipped from China to here. And I told the customer, looking at the company, they are located in China. If anything goes wrong with the board, it won't be covered under my 30 days labor warranty. It means if the customer got a bad logic board or bad motherboard and I install it, the customer still have to pay me $80 no matter what the outcome is. But if I'm the one who ordered the board from the US seller, if I got a bad board or something goes wrong, I'm going to cover that under the warranty. So I'll let the customer know. She can save $50 and get the board from China. That will take about three weeks to arrive. And if there's anything wrong with the board, she's the one who have to return it and going back and forth for a long time just for saving $50. And I told the customer, it's up to her. This is her laptop. I can put the laptop back together and she can pick it up and she can bring it back here when she got the board. But I have to charge her $40 for the diagnostic fee. All that time that I spend diagnosing this laptop here, I'm not gonna do that for free. So basically, I don't know, it's, it's kind of silly in my opinion. Excuse me. The customer want to save about $52.46, but she also have to pay me $40 for the diagnostic. So at the end of it, she's only saving about $12.46 and also takes much longer to get this laptop fixed. So I'm gonna put the computer back together and give it back to the customer tomorrow. So that's it.